Hey, welcome to Chicago Arts. This is Martin John. I'll be your host. Uh, this week I got to sit down with Dio, and we talked about making your career as an artist. Yeah, my, my career, career, I could say, started before even I went to school. Uh, as a young uh, boy in Nigeria, uh, in Ibadan, where I grew up, that's southwestern Nigeria. Uh, <clears throat> my mom, who was a school teacher at that time, noticed that um, I prefer to sit in a corner and just uh, doodle or draw with, with pencil. So, so right from the onset, about this time of the year, Christmas, uh, what I get for gift is always watercolor boxes, uh, beautiful pencils and what have you, and drawing book as we call it. Uh, so that became a habit and family members usually, uh, um, uh, they, they always give me things like that, that um, things I could create with you, including plasticine. Plasticine is a form of uh, modeling uh, plastic that you could form uh, images or figures with. So my upbringing uh, as a young boy shows the direction of where my career, what would become a career for me. And so I owe uh, my being an artist to my mother because she saw it right on the onset and thought, uh, she had to support uh, where my interests lie. I should let you know that I lost my father early uh, at age uh, 13. I was still in second or so year in high school when my dad died. Uh, so the sole responsibility of raising a family was left to my mother. She was quite young then. She was um, just 38 years with five kids when she was uh, widowed. And uh, so, if you look at my work today, uh, you can't but see most of my subject matter is women. And um, uh, I celebrate the beauty of women. I celebrate the, the sense of nurturing that women have. The last 10 years, since 1997, late 96, I've decided to just do this. There are, of course, it's a hard time. You don't sell arts like a mechanism every day. Uh, you make a sale today. Before you make a big sale, you owe your landlord. Of course, uh, the framer you know, still is waiting for some, some some money on the lay where you have on framing. And so, so it, it could be considered hard. I grew up with migraine whenever I'm pressured. Uh, if I have assignment due uh, when I was with the agency, you know, it's the one the job done right away. The client needs it tomorrow. So you have sleepless night and you get antsy you know, fin to finish your work. So you still go through that. But lately I've decided uh, that I would just walk rather than wait for a date to show or wait for a gallery uh, uh, to give me a time for a solo show or even what we all look for, a nice review in the newspaper or magazine or the ultimate. A museum picking my work, it will happen. Whether it happens when I'm alive or when I'm gone, it will happen. For every artist that works judiciously, religiously, any artist that works so hard every day without thinking, oh, I'm work, I'm doing this with somebody in mind to come and buy it. The point is, at some point, somebody will buy it. For every work of art you, that you produce, it will eventually have your owner.